Oh, oh, oh. Mm, not a big one, dude. That was sick, dude. <laughs> hey guys, Johnny Jenkins here. Got an awesome question from a viewer today. And this is really near and dear to my heart. He wants to know, how do you determine what bait to use when you're searching to find fish for like this time of the year, all right? So this time of the year, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down into water temperature. That's how you determine what kind of search bait. Now, search baits for you guys, if you don't know, you need a bait where you can cast it out and get it back to the boat quick, but it can be efficient, okay? going For tournament guys like me and guys that need to find fish to catch some fish to show you guys on screen, we've got to find fish quickly. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of stuff to search for, and we've got to do it quickly and efficiently. We've got to have tools that can get that done. Throwing a worm out there, and dragging it real slow. Yeah, you're gonna get more bites that way, but you, you also aren't gonna cover near as much water and you can end up spending a lot of time where there are no fish at all. And this can apply even for small ponds too. So search baits are baits that you can cast out and get to the boat quick, but they also are efficient in getting what's called reaction strikes. So we're not trying to get a fish um, to, to be next to the bait for like 30 seconds and then he decides to eat it. No, we're trying to get a bait to go past these fish and he doesn't have time to think about it. He just goes up there and eats it because we're trying to cover a lot of water, right? And we're trying to find and eliminate. Now, what does that mean? Eliminate areas that don't have any fish and then find the places that do because I promise you there's a lot of places that don't. And if you spend a bunch of time throwing a worm, you're not going to find them, okay? So I'm gonna break it down to water temperature. When the water temperature for me, and, and this is also relative because it depends on shallow water and deep, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. When the water temperature is anything less than really 50, 55 degrees, I like search baits like crankbaits. You can slow them down, but they're still search baits and they're one of the best. Now another one is a, an underspin. If you're fishing deeper water, like a fish head spin, the bait that Casey Ashley and Scott Martin have won major FLW and BASS championships on. That's a really great bait also. And also a spin bait, actually, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, you kind of fish it slow, but it's a constant reel, and when it's cold, it's actually not a bad technique. But when, it, when the water's cold, underspin, a fish head spin, and a crankbait are probably my two favorites. Now, when the water temperature warms up just a little bit more, 55 plus degrees, I really like, 55 to like 65, I really like and so this is the spring and fall. I like chatterbaits and spinnerbaits a lot, especially chatterbaits. And then when the water is 60 degrees and higher, I really like topwater. Topwater is a great, my most favorite way to cover water, and in particular, a buzz bait and like a zero spook that walks back and forth. Those baits right there can cover a ton of water, and when the water temperature is warm where I can catch them on topwater, that's my favorite, and I stick to it. And the buzz bait, dude, it's like there's no other bait that covers as much water as a, as a as a buzz bait as efficiently. I'm serious, especially when the water's warm, you can just buzz it by real fast, and it's the best. Like there's nothing else that competes with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, once again, this is a this is a question from a viewer. So, if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them down in the comments. You can ask 10, 20, 30, how many ever per video that you want. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Now, one last thing, check out the links in the description. Uh, Fishing Recreation and I, and I have teamed up. We've got a lot of awesome articles and other videos that are going to be posted on the website where you guys can learn more about fishing, even learn more about me, and different things that we have to offer. So you can learn about fishing and, and be a better fisherman. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check the links out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.